Hi everybody, it's Kristen and I have another Four Looks One palette for you. So I was going to discontinue this series, but I heard from you guys that that is not what you wanted, so I am going to continue on. Uh, if you are new to Four Looks One palette, first of all, welcome. Second of all, this is a video series where I take one palette, I use it for four different looks, and then at the end of the uh, video I will review the palette, give you swatches, that sort of thing, and give you my thoughts. One added thing that I'm doing this time, I've heard this from you guys for a while, and I, I'm going to see if I can make it work. It does add a little bit of extra work for me, but if it's more helpful to you, then I will do it. And what I, so what I'm doing is I'm filming one eye as I'm doing it in the morning before I get ready. So um, as I talk about the look throughout the video, I'm going to, you know, insert hopefully like a fast forwarded clip of me applying that uh, the eyeshadow that I'm talking about. Hopefully that's helpful. If it's not, if it doesn't work right for me or for you, <laughs> then this will be the only one that it happens in. But anyway, crossing my fingers that it works out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am doing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master by Mario palette. I, I don't know if this is permanent, if it's limited edition. I don't know. I've kind of gotten mixed um, information when I've tried to do research on it. Currently, and this is January 2nd that I'm starting this, it is still um, available, I think, at Macy's. I'll find what I can and link list it below for you. So this is a little bit of what that looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I did is I took the shade Kim. I applied it all over my lid with a MAC 239 brush. Then I took a very fluffy brush, and that was the Wayne Goss number no. 3 brush, into the crease with the shade in Isabel. I blended that out, and then I took the Wayne Goss number no. 6 brush, or you could use a MAC 217, something that sort of thing, and I applied the shade in Violetta to the outer corner and then pulled that in. And then I just used a pencil brush. In this case, it was the Wayne Goss 05. And I pulled Violetta beneath my lower lash line. And then I used MAC, nope, not MAC, <laughs> uh, Wet n Wild's Brulee as kind of my brow bone. There's not a matte brow bone in this palette, so I have to add that okay, in. So let me go ahead and zoom you okay. in. So here's the look. On the rest of my face for blush, I have the By Terry Sun Design Palette, then one in number two, Light and Tan Vibes. I have just these two shades here on my cheeks as my blush. And then for lips today, I have my favorite nude lip liner combo, or nude li <laughs> my favorite nude combo of all time, Charlotte Tilbury in Penelope Pink, I think is what this is. I always forget. Nope, it's in Iconic Nude. The lipstick is in Penelope Pink, which looks like this. And lastly is the gloss, which I believe is in Seduction. I think it used to have a little sticker on here, and that is gone. So at any rate, that's the lip combo. All right, so for the second look, and what's funny is that you can tell when I when I cut to the clip, I already um, had the crease done because I was listening to the Sherman Show um, live Q&A because I missed it last night. Anyway, um, so I used Lula in the crease. What did I say, Lulu? I think I said that wrong all the time. In the crease. And I did that with the Zoeva 228 brush. And I took my MAC 239 and I used the shade in Paris all over my lid. And then I took a 217 and I used Claudia, which in the pan looks like a blue, or excuse me, looks more like a black kind of charcoal shade, but it is actually a very pretty navy blue. And uh, this look got a little more out of hand than I intended as far as it's a little deeper and smokier than I originally intended, but what are you gonna do? And then I took the Sephora, and actually let me grab it to check the number here, I'm not positive. It's the number 18 Pro Shader. I used that beneath my lower lash line. And I think that's everything. Again, I used Wet n Wild Brulee as my brow bone and kind of clean up on the outside corner. So let me go ahead and zoom in. look. On my cheeks today is the Wet n Wild Blush in Rose Champagne. And then, uh, oh, for liner, I forgot. Oops, sorry, I just hit the camera. Oh, for liner, I used the Maybelline Master Studio in Navy Knockout. I think that might have been limited edition. I'm not positive. And then on my lips, I used the Too Faced Melted in Chihuahua. All right, so here's the third look, and I just want to say a disclaimer. I haven't looked at the footage yet, but the other video that I filmed yesterday, I have to refilm because I had lipstick on my teeth, and I don't think that's ever happened to me. But I'm not going to refilm, you know, the, the second look, so hopefully it's not too bothersome. All right, for this look, I used the shades Muse and Marina, and I used Muse on... 
muse on my inner third and outer third. And I did that with the Sony Kashuk 206 brush. That's one of my favorite brushes for applying that sort of shade. And then I just flipped that brush over and I used Marina on the inner corner. And then what I did is I, whenever I kind of do this sort of halo eye, I, I try to, you know, like connect the crease, but I do that after I apply, you know, the inner, middle, and outer third. Hopefully this is making sense. And so I use a 217 to kind of blend that out. And I'm not sure exactly how, you know, how much of this you're seeing or how I'm going to piece this together because, again, this is my first time trying to do this. But to blend out that crease, I was trying just to use Wet n Wild's Brulee, and I just didn't like, I really don't like stark lines. It's not my favorite at all. So you saw me take the Zoeva, or seeing me, the Zoeva 228 brush, I think that was the one I used yesterday, and I went into Lula, and I just kind of, you know, used that in my transition sort of area. And then I ended up taking the shade in NYC, and I put that beneath my lower lash line with the Wayne Goss 5, you know, sort of pencil brush. So I'll go ahead and zoom you in. I will say one of the things I'm finding tricky about doing this is normally I'm able to point to the shades I'm using while I'm... In telling you where I place them and in he, here all I'm telling you I'm telling you the shade but you're not seeing what it looks like so I, I don't really know oh, maybe I'm going to edit something in there I don't know this kind of this video is kind of a learning curve for me to to show you the demos at the same time we'll see how it goes all right let me go ahead and zoom you in all right so here's the look In my lower waterline, I have Max Power Surge. I just like that when I don't want something as stark as a nude, but I want something there when I'm using some more kind of red shades so that my eyes don't look like I'm red and sickly. Uh, on my upper waterline, I use the Tarte um, Skinny Smolder Eyes in black. Yeah, upper lash line, excuse me, upper waterline. I have the Marc Jacobs in blacker. For blush, I have Ila Masca's Naked Rose, and I just realized as I'm doing this that this is just my lip plumper. I, I don't have my lipstick on, so hang on. All right, so here we have the completed look, and this is with ColourPop's Cami. Um, I am <laughs> tempted to refilm that, but I'm not going to. This is just the way life goes. You'd think this was my first four looks one palette instead of my 40th something. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, for the third look, I went ahead and used Bronx. I wasn't going to because I used that in a Get Ready With Me um, earlier, but I used it over a base, so I thought this time I would show you what it looks like not over a base. So I put Bronx all over the lid. I did that with a MAC 239 brush, and then I have to pull it out here. <laughs> on a Tom Ford number 12 brush, I took the shade in Fifth Avenue on the inner corner and then pulled that over into um, that shade in Bronx. I ended up using, I, I, I went back and forth and I ended up using the shade in Lula again. I, I very well could have gone very warm with this and used Isabel, but for some reason I just chose to use Lula and I used that in the crease. And then in the Get Ready With Me that I've done, that I did before, I used the Claudia, which is that navy blue shade in the outer corner. So this time I used the Violetta and I just kind of, you know, deepened things up and really tried to get a good blend there. And so... I went back and forth kind of between that and then using the Lula shade and I used a MAC 217 for that shade in Violetta which is this one right here and then I used that same Zoeva 228 brush in the crease on Lula. Um, I think that that is everything. Oh, I took Bronx beneath my lower lash line and I did that on a Wayne Goss number no. 5 brush and I think that's everything. So let me go ahead and zoom so you in. Here's the look. All right, on, my, on the rest of my face, I used the Milani Blush in Luminoso, one of my favorites. And then I used the, and I have to pull this back to tell you what it's called. It's the Spice Smashbox. It's always on liquid lipstick. And this is the shade in Driver's Seat. And then just to add a little gloss and a little more something to that, because that's a little, I don't know, there's a little kind of, too much orange in that or something. Anyway, I used the Buxom Gloss in Celeste, and that is it for the rest of my face today. So let's go ahead and give you some swatches. Hollywood, NYC, Kim, and Muse. Hollywood, NYC, Kim, and Muse. Marina, Claudia, Lula, and Isabel. Marina. Claudia, Lula, and Isabel. Violetta, Fifth Avenue, Bronx, and Paris. Violetta, Fifth Avenue, Bronx, and Paris. 
So, but then in case you're wondering why I'm like super bundled up today, because it's seven degrees below zero this morning. I think that's the 5th of January that I'm filming this. So there are three matte shades. These three right here, Lula, Isabel, and Violetta. And then the, re the rest have some sheen or shimmer to them. There isn't any glitter in this palette. Really, it's more of a sheen and a shimmer. These shades are very soft, very blendable. They blend very well. I've heard a lot of people say that um, they are muddy and I, I could see how it could lend itself. And actually this look today was starting to get a little, I, it, it could have gone the wrong way. And part of that is just because I over blunt. That's, that's my deal. That's not the shades issue, but I find them very easy to work with. They are, again, they are very soft. They kick up a lot. Like when, when you tap your brush in there and then, you know, kind of knock it off, there, there's a lot that falls off of it. So just kind of know that. But for me, it's totally worth it. The longevity on these eyeshadows is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I find that to be the same throughout the Anastasia Beverly Hills line. So while I'm currently talking about this palette, in some respects, I'm talking about their line in general. So I just, I, I'm a big fan of this palette. This was in my 2016 favorites, which hopefully you've already seen at this point. Uh, as of the filming of this, I couldn't find it anywhere online. You could get, I think I saw some on Amazon and eBay for ridiculous prices. But what I, what I find interesting is Macy's website still has it there which, sorry, my fingers are still, <laughs> still kind of um, dirty from the swatches. They, they still have it on their website, which makes me wonder if they're going to maybe restock it. I don't know. I don't think Anastasia has ever done that with any of their limited edition palettes, but I promise this for those of you that got this palette, you really wanted to see kind of some of the ways that I did this. So hopefully this ended up being okay. I Oh, and this sells for $42, as do all of their palettes that, that come like this. Um, and again, there's a total of 12 shades. Three of them are matte. So I, I hope that this works out all right. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, when I go back and edit how it works with me talking about the shades, but I can't actually show you the shades in the palette. You're, you're just seeing them on my eye. So you're going, going to kind of have to compare with with the swatches at the end. We'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, if you don't like it, I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> So we'll see. We will see how it goes. At any rate, I hope that you enjoyed so it. I do hope that you enjoyed it either way. On the rest of my face throughout the video, I used the Dior Star Foundation in the shade 10 and 20 that I just have mixed and combined. For powder foundation, I've been using, this is my next that I'm going to use it up, the Pure 4-in-1 Mineral Foundation. And for bronzer, of course, I'm still working with the Mary Kay bronzer. And under my eyes, I had the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. No, Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. For concealer this whole video, I used the Tarte Shape Tape, which I do not like in the slightest. I know I'm the only one. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what to do about that. I, I shouldn't say I'm the only one because I mentioned it a few times on Snapchat and I, I know that I'm not the only one. But gosh, I feel like I'm the only YouTuber that doesn't like no. it. Maybe it's just because I'm not 20. <laughs> And then the mascara that I used throughout the video was the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. One of my favorite mascaras of all time. And I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye!